Hi, welcome to the Summer Rain Channel. Today we're making an after sun lotion. So it has aloe vera in it and it has like a cucumber mint chocolatey smell, which if you just took summer and you threw it in a bottle of lotion, that's what it would smell like in my opinion. Um, if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I do post a new video every week. I also post a link to my blog so you can go ahead and get the free printable recipe. Without further ado, let's go ahead and make some lotion. Whenever I'm making lotion or really anything, I like to start out by having everything weighed. Um, that way it's already measured. You just have to grab it, mix everything together in its specific way. You don't have to worry about stopping, measuring, weighing this. It's all just done. Um, so go ahead, do a little bit of prep work and weigh out all of your ingredients. And then I'll dive a little bit deeper. We're going to have three phases. So we have the water phase, which is these two. We have the oil phase. And then in these small cups, we have the cool down phase. And I will go over each ingredient with you also. Our water phase is super easy. We have two ingredients. We have distilled water and we have aloe vera 10 times concentrated. And that is it for the water phase. It is important to use distilled water and not just tap water. So what we want to do is take our distilled water, add your aloe vera, and that's it for the water phase. Super, super easy. So now let's move on to the oil phase. Let's take a peek at our oil phase ingredient. So even though it's one phase, you can kind of think of it as two separate parts, right? So we have our emulsifiers, then we have our oils and our butters. So they all go into the same phase, but they really serve different purposes. Why do we need an emulsifier? So the reason why we need emulsifying wax or an emulsifier is because we have oil and we have water, which we're trying to get to mix together. Naturally, it doesn't want to. So we need something to emulsify it. That's why we use emulsifying wax. Then we have cetyl alcohol. We use this for a few different purposes. It's a co-emulsifier, so it's gonna help out the emulsifying wax a little bit. It's also used to help thicken our lotion. So we don't want a real thin and runny lotion. It's gonna give it a little bit of a thicker texture and it makes lotion feel softer. So it's really a versatile ingredient. Then we have our oils and our butters. So we have macadamia nut oil. I love this oil. It is non-greasy and it's an emollient. So it's a really nice oil for this lotion. We have our cocoa butter, which is unrefined. So it smells like chocolate. Strongly recommend the unrefined. You want that chocolate scent in this after sun lotion. Um, it's also an emulsifier. And then we have olive oil, which our skin just loves olive oil. It's one of my favorite oils. So we're gonna put all of this together to be our oil phase. So we have our emulsifiers, we have our oils, our butters. This is all considered the oil phase. Go ahead, grab yourself another heat safe container. We're gonna put our emulsifying wax, acetyl alcohol, cocoa butter, olive oil, and last but not least, macadamia nut oil. What you want to do is go ahead and grab the water phase that you made just a few minutes ago and the oil phase and we're going to pop them both on a double boiler at the same time. Very important that you do that. So I did it one time where I heated up my oil phase, but I didn't do my water phase. So this was still room temperature or kind of cold and it immediately would not mix. It just like completely separated and all of this blobbed up and there was no fixing it. So super important that you heat them up to roughly the same temperature. I just pop them both on the same double boiler and I've never had any issues doing it that way. So I'll go ahead, I'll melt these and then I'll be right back. Just pulled these off the double boiler. So we have our water phase, which is all heated up and our oil phase. And as you can tell, the oils are completely melted. So let's go ahead and grab a mixing container. I'm gonna use this mixing container because it has this long pouring spout, which is gonna make it a whole lot easier getting the lotion into the bottle, but feel free to use any container that you have. I just find this to be a little bit easier. You can do it with like a bowl, but it's quite difficult. We will go ahead and add our water phase. And then we're gonna add our oil phase. So try to watch when I add the oil phase and the minute it hits the water, it's gonna turn like a milky, like white color. Pretty cool. And then grab your immersion blender and we're gonna go ahead and mix it.
Let's take a look at our cool down ingredients. So we have a broad spectrum preservative, super important to use a preservative, right? Because we have water in our lotion. So not using a preservative, it's gonna grow some mold, it's gonna grow bacteria, and it's not gonna be safe for you to use. So even if you're just making this for yourself or especially for friends or giving it away or anything like that, you do need a preservative um, to keep this safe to use. Then we have our fragrance oil. So I'm using a cucumber mint, which with the little bit of chocolate smell that we get, smells amazing. It just smells like summer. So highly recommend the cucumber mint with this one, but feel free to use any fragrance oil that you'd like. Um, so not so much the fragrance oil, but definitely the preservative. It's really important that you check the temperature. So this preservative has to be put in when it's below 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So we do want to check our temperature before we put our preservative in. Otherwise, it could make the preservative not work. We're just going to mix this up and go ahead and check the temperature that we're below 120 degrees. And we are. So I'm going to start with my fragrance oil. It smells so good. And just give that a good mix. Next we'll just add our preservative. And we'll give it another good mix. Now you don't have to do this, but after I get my fragrance oil and my preservative and my lotion, I like to just give it one more good mix with the immersion blender. So um, you can just mix it a little bit more with your spatula. I like to just give it the second mix, make sure everything is mixed in there very good. So we'll go ahead and give this just a quick mix. And there is your lotion. So you can see it's still pretty runny because it is still warm. And this is when we want to take advantage of that and go ahead and pop it into our bottle. You can still get it in there when it thickens up. It's just a whole lot harder. So grab your bottle and you'll just fill it right up. So when your lotion is cooling, you want to go ahead and leave the lid off. One, it can mess up the bottle. And number two, any condensation would be water that goes into your lotion. So just leave the lid off while it completely cools. Once it's done, pop the lid on and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this after sun lotion.